Oh, hi. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, my name is Katie, and today we are starting season two of Mob Psycho 100, and I am so excited to get back into this show. We learned a lot over the first season, and what a great season it was. I went into this show not really knowing what to expect, and it turns out to be this really wholesome, funny action anime, and I am just obsessed with it, and I can't it enough. So we have our main character, Mob, who is an esper or a psychic, and he has very, very OP abilities. And he works with Reagan, who he calls his master. Reagan is a lovable con man who runs a exercising business. He uses Mob to exercise evil spirits using his powers. Mob thinks that Reagan has powers, and I don't really know how he hasn't realized that yet, but Mob is just so precious. I don't know. He just, he looks up to Reagan very much. And at the end of the last season, we learned way more about their relationship. But before I talk about that, we obviously have to talk about Mob's brother, Ritsu, who has kind of wanted to be like his older brother his whole life. He has wanted psychic powers too. He could never have them or unlock them. But in the last season, we seen him kind of unlock those abilities and now he is an esper too. We did see Ritsu kind of go off the rails. He got a little drunk on power with the help of Dimple. Dimple is not guilt-free in this situation, but he got drunk on power. He unlocked these psychic abilities and he was like, well, I'm gonna use them. Mob has a huge thing about not using his psychic abilities on other people. And we kind of learned that this comes from Reagan. Towards the end of the season, and especially in the last episode, I started to realize with Reagan telling them to get out of that fight, I can see that he can see that Mob has these really, really, really wild powers. And when he loses control, he really loses control and he could really, really seriously hurt people. And that's why Reagan tells him not to use his abilities on other people because he could get drunk on power and kind of go down the path that Ritsu was starting to go down. And it's very clear that although Reagan is a con man and he's funny and he doesn't pay Mob enough, he has a good heart and he really, really cares for Mob. And I can't wait to see more of their developing relationship. It worries me that Mob still doesn't know the truth about him, but... I do love their relationship. And I think also Ritsu and Mob's relationship is back on the mend because I think Ritsu kind of saw the error of his ways at the end of the last season. And hopefully there's no more villain arc for Ritsu. We don't need the brothers fighting. He, Mob cares about his little brother so much. He's just so precious, even through all of the shit that Ritsu was doing, he's still, you know, hugged him, wanted to save him. Like, Mob is such a precious boy. Towards the end of the last season, we also learned about the Claw organization, which seems to be a sort of a fucked up organization that, I don't know, is it like they farm psychic abilities from espers and they want to, I don't know, take over the world or some shit with their powers? Like, <laughs> it was kind of hard to follow. But we did see at the end of the last episode that one of the characters that we met when everybody was in this facility. His name is Sho, and he seems to be the son of the boss of Claw, or at least that's the impression that I got at the end of it. That division, which was the seventh division that kidnapped everybody in the last season, they're gone. I am assuming it's way bigger than that. There's obviously more of that to come. So that was really interesting. Sho is a very interesting character. And yeah, all in all, season one was great. I'm so excited to start season two. But before we get into it, if you do wanna see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. You can also join my Patreon where tier twos and above get early access to Mob Psycho reactions. We are way ahead over there. So if you wanna catch up, feel free to join. But without further ado, let's get into the first episode of season two of Mob Psycho 100. And who have you come to? Reagan! I also forgot to mention that Reagan kind of absorbed Mob's powers in the last episode of season one, and now he's able to see Dimple. And I'm really intrigued by that. Is there potential there for Reagan to unlock powers or use powers in future? <laughs> Yeah. 
What is he gonna ask for? Reagan! Isn't that a lot? <laughs> Not the scarecrow. Oh. Why does it have to be the scarecrow? That's our freaking boy. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Not the decoy. Oh, was that a is that a One Piece reference? Is that a One Piece reference? The way he- Oh shit. The way he commands him like a fucking Pokemon. Reagan, please. Shit. What an intro to this season. Whoa. What is he doing? Whoa. Whoa, what did he do? Oh shit, he controlled them. Oh, Reagan. Now Mob has control. Look at him go. Has he just learned a whole new skill in the matter of like a few minutes? Damn. Oh my god, he didn't get the, the harvest after all. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Reagan! This man. Oh, shit! Oh. Oh, new opening. Oh, I'm gonna miss the... <laughs> what is this? <gasps> Damn, the music for Mob Psycho always slaps. I love how like weird and abstract the openings are. Like they're so strange and I love it and colorful. I wonder if this is the same artist from the first opening cause they sound similar-ish. Um, what? What is she doing? What is going on? Oh, is she trying to find Dimple? Are these the people left over from that? Oh, damn. Why does she want to make him a cult star? Why does she want to do this? Yeah, that's probably a good idea, my guy. You went off the rails. It's gonna be Ritsu, isn't it? Or Mob? There's gonna be more- I hope there's no more brotherly rivalry. <laughs> 
Oh my god. I have some feeling that it's gonna be Mob versus Ritsu. <laughs> Hardcore training montage. Interesting hair. Oh, maybe Ritsu didn't run. What is he doing? I mean, at that point, would you not just give it up to somebody else? Like... Oh, I'm nervous for him. Oh, I need a hype team like them. He's gonna support him. Let's go. The rivalry is over, I think. Mob. Or Nori. What the? Oh no! Mob. Oh, he's just a baby. Why does she want to make him a cult leader? What is going on? They're so supportive. Best freaking boys. Oh! This better not be a prank. Oh, it's a different girl. She's very persistent. <laughs> Supernatural phenomenon. Leave him alone. He is so precious. Oh. Aww. Bless him, he's trying. This is cute. Every day. <laughs> Precious. Oh my god. He doesn't go to the club straight away so he can walk home with her. That's so cute. Reagan. <laughs> This is precious. <laughs> My heart. He tries his best. Oh. It's hard for him to express his feelings. Dangerous even, sometimes. Oh, mob. What the fuck? I was a little bit suspicious. I'm so sad. Shh, they both lied to each other. Oh, I hate, I hate that so much. Oh, mob. He actually had a great time with her as well. 
there has to be more to this. Like, girl asked him out on a dare, but like, she had a great time. <laughs> My heart's broken. <laughs> She's putting up a front with these ones. <gasps> no, these are not friends. Oh, this girl's a bitch. Yeah, you tell the mob. They're so mean, she can't even tell the truth. <laughs> Him picking up all the pieces! <sighs> He's the most precious boy. Oh my gosh, mob! <laughs> the faces. Are you kidding me right now? <gasps> no! He's gonna show her? <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! That is fucking adorable. Oh? Oh? What does that mean? Temple. Oh my god. Inspiration for writing? Are you kidding? Leave him alone! Not falling for the love letters. That was such a good first episode and I don't love that she asked him out because of a dare, but obviously something really cute has come from it and maybe they're gonna like each other and maybe we're gonna see more of this. I'm just loving the development of Mob throughout last season and what looks like to be this season. He's listening more to what he wants and his feelings, even though it's really hard for him. And he's just the most precious boy and I'm always rooting for him. I do wonder why that girl wants him to be the leader of a cult. I'm kind of lost on that one, I'm not gonna lie. It does make me wonder if he's gonna continue trying to go for the president role, the student council president role. And what did it mean his childhood crush was like watching him and Emmy? Like, what did that mean? Does she still like him? Why is she keeping tabs on him like that? Anyways, that was a great episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe, catch my other reaction content if you want to. And again, you can join my Patreon for early access content and some uncut reactions as well. I also have a second channel where I upload a lot of gaming content. So if that's your kind of thing, feel free to subscribe over there. And you can catch me live on Twitch three to four times a week. So feel free to come and say hi in a stream sometime. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.